So I'm starting out with the eyes. I am priming with MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just applying that with my finger to my entire eyelid. Then I'm going into the palette and I'm using this whitish bone color just on a buffing brush just to apply this all over my lid so that all the colors blend nicely over the top. And then I'm going in with this orangey yellowish tone shade and using it as my transition shade. So I'm just using a Sigma E40 brush just to blend this all the way into the crease and I'm just doing it pretty messily. Then taking the warm toned reddish brown shade from the palette, I'm using a MAC 217 brush to buff this into the outer corner and then bring it into the, like sort of the center of my eye. Um, and yeah, just buffing away, buffing, buffing. And then I'm taking the same brush and the dark brown shade and I'm packing this and building it up on the outer corner and really focusing it in the outer V sort of section. And then I'm taking the middle shade which is like a nice bronzy eyeshadow and I'm just using a shader brush to apply this all over the lid. Um, it does take a bit of packing but I worked out these colors work best with your fingers. And then I'm taking that pinky sort of rosy tone shade and just applying that to the center of the eyelid just for like a little pop of shimmer and then just using my blending brush again to blend everything out and then I'm taking some MAC Fix Plus on the brush and just applying that middle shade once again onto the eyes um, just to make it pop a little bit more and then using a brown gel eyeliner this one's the Maybelline gel liner I'm just using a angled brush and just creating a little wing um, I wanted to use brown so it was a little bit softer than black and I don't know, I just find that the brown ties the look in really well. Then I'm using a black liner to tight line my eyes and look like I am possessed or something. Um, so just putting it in that upper lash line. Then curling my eyelashes and applying some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to my eyelashes. And then the falsies I'm using today are the EXO Beauty The Brave Lashes. Oh, just kidding, I'm just wiping it away any fallout and just fixing that outer corner then I'm applying the false lashes so these are exo beauty the brave as I said before I love these eyelashes so much then moving on to the face I'm priming using bare minerals prime time in the neutralizing shade that's why it looks yellow I'm um, just applying this all over my face and then I'm mixing bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation with the makeup forever ultra HD my skin was really really dry this day so that's why I wanted to add the Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and it just hydrated my skin and um, the other foundation gave me a nice amount of coverage so I just used the EXO Beauty Flawless Finish Sponge to apply that. And then for the under eyes I'm concealing using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer so another serum product. Applied this all down the center of my face as well as under the eyes and then blended everything out using the Sigma um, Concealer Kabuki. I forget what it's called but it'll be linked down below. And then I'm baking the under eyes using the Sigma Bake Kabuki and my um, Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. Sorry. Then using NARS Laguna to bronze and contour my face. And just applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, all around my hairline, my temples, and all of that good stuff. And then I'm just dusting away that baking powder just with a tulip brush. And then I'm going to take the Paloma highlight shade from that palette. And I'm just going to use that to set all the center of my face. Um, yeah, just so that concealer is set into place. Then for blush, I first tried to use this e.l.f. baked blush called Peachy Cheeky or something and it had no pigment, like look at my face. I had to check and it literally had no pigment. So we swapped that out and went into the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette and used Rose Spritz which is so much more pigmented and just so pretty so I don't like that e.l.f. blush at all. But I did use this one called Pinktastic, it is labelled as a blush but it's definitely a highlight. And this one I liked. This one had really good pigment and it looked beautiful on the cheekbones. 
So I'm applying that to all the high points of my face and then setting everything with Urban Decay All Nighter. Then going back into the palette and using the orangey tone shade, I'm just buffing this really like crazily under the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the warm tone brown again and doing the same thing, just focusing it a little bit more in the outer corner though. And then going in with the dark brown on the 217 brush and just focusing that on the lash line in the outer corner. Then I took this really beautiful shade as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. So as you can see, it's super pigmented and super gorgeous. I love, love, love this color. And then I just lined my waterline with a brown liner. This is just a thin Lizzie liner, but any matte brown eyeliner will do. And then I just added some lower lash mascara to complete the eyes. And then for the lips, I took the palette and used this beautiful nudie pink shade and just used a lip brush to apply that all over my lips. And that completes the look. I really hope you guys liked it and I will see you in my next one. Thing I have to show you is from EXO Beauty and it is the false lash set in the party stack. Um, so it comes with one, two, three, four, five sets of lashes. I'm wearing one of the pairs today. I'm wearing the Brave.